if I stop you and I rob you from enjoying the diversity of the body simply because of me I would have cheated you because it is not everything you need that God gave me as much as I love you there are things that are needed in your life that is not within the scope of my grace or assignment that is where other members of the body come are we together now they can supply to you dimensions that i may not be able to supply or to the degree they supply recognizing that gives you a sense of appreciation for what god is doing across the body believing that koinonia is the only ministry making impact believing that joshua selman is the only man of god making his deception i've told you that most of these things come from our backgrounds we come from africa a background of deprivation so when God begins to use us, the backlog of some of these things, the appetite to outshine. You know, I travel a lot and when I travel across regions, sometimes they are very excited that I'm coming. There are nations that I'm coming to now and you can't imagine the excitement that is happening. But I am very quick to let the men of God, the leaders, the captains of industry know there that it's not a celebrity that is coming it is an ambassador and i am coming as a contributor to what god is already doing i'm not coming to outshine and downplay and rubbish other men of god rubbish other ministries and make it look like nobody is doing anything serious except me i will be in deception because god is an indictment on the ministry of the holy spirit to believe you are the only one who is effective the moment you think it is, if I ever believe that Koinonia is the only ministry making impact, Joshua Selman is the, I'm insulting the ministry of the Holy Spirit because I'm saying he's so ineffective, he cannot guarantee the stability of other structures. Politicians, never believe you are the only one. Let's not make the mistake of Elijah. Elijah said, and I, I am the only one. Who is standing it was a mistake oh there are men oh do you know in my life as a man of god i have met some people some of them young people and i've conversed with them and the kind of presence and power they are they've not even started ministry as we know some of them do not even know how anointed they are it's you by the privilege of growth who can taste it and you can say that ah there is grace here there are greater men that are coming who will do greater things than the Joshua Selmans. We better respect them in advance because by the time you tear down people and they rise. No. We are surrounded by many. We are not the only ones who walk this river. They gave us the baton and God is still training many. There are many young people in villages God is training. There are many young people around God. There are many women of fire and power. There are intercessors. There are end time prophets. There are apostles. Some of you are looking at me. I know you are sitting quietly. But there is what God is doing. As men of God we must be honest to appreciate and recognize. And drop away this celebrity mindset. no god is bigger than just one man god is bigger than just one ministry no matter how effective you are you cannot capture the entirety of what god is doing listen very carefully and learn i'm not ashamed to appreciate what god is doing across every church with men of god with people when I have the opportunity of meeting pastors, whether they feel we are greater, we may not be at the same level in grace, but it does not matter. From the least to the greatest, we are all an army who are, who are advancing the purposes of the kingdom. From the least contributor to the greater, we are all deserving of honor. The spirit that rubbishes the contributions of others and makes it look like only few people. A man of God met me one time and we we're talking. And he said, Kai, there are only few of me now, Joshua Selman, that God is using in Nigeria. I told him, keep quiet and don't allow that blasphemy come out of your mouth. There are people in regions and villages we don't even have the kind of anointing to fight those demons there. There are women who did not go to school, but they are in the spirit of Anna the prophetess, fighting battles that we do not know. No protocol protecting them. How dare you believe Joshua Selman is the only one how dare you believe only koinonia 
What about other men of God? What about other apostles? What about other churches? Everybody is making an active contribution. If I travel to Lagos or to Abuja or to any nation, the reason why you find believers there is because there was a man of God there mentoring and building them before we arrive. We must cultivate a healthy respect. Competition and unhealthy comparison. And let me charge you my precious people. Don't go around joining the heads of men of God. Don't go around joining the heads of people by trying to compare. Oh, this one is this, this one is that. No, no. That is not your assignment. Hallelujah. I once met a woman with a unique grace for barrenness. She may not be able to prophesy, but if she lays her hands on you, I had the privilege of praying over one of the the biggest prayer mountains that i know in this nation is led off by a woman very humble woman the first time that woman came to me she came for prayers when she began to tell me and i saw what god did in her life i felt it was me that needed to kneel down let her pray for me she's she's dedicated it now it's a mighty revival center you go there and see prayer cells like it was in the days of young Gicho. We have not come near these things. Where then is our pride? There are people changing the world just because they are not on social media. Just because we are not invited to the places. We may look like the celebrities will make no mistake. God has a robust army and there are still many rising. 